Today we are going to learn Pink Pot app. Now for this Pink Pot app, we should first log in into Code to Play. Code to Play. Then click on login page. As I have already logged in, my projects will be seen on the screen. Now, how to do, do this PaintPot app? For this PaintPot app, first we should log in into this app and then click on start new project, which is Paint Pot. Click on OK. We should not leave any space because we cannot give a name, give the name of a project with uh, with a space. Now, in this app, we are going to design it like this. This is the designer interface and this is the blocks interface. In the designer interface, we have horizontal arrangement, red button, green button, blue button, canvas one and white button. So, for this, we should go to a new project. As I told you, the, uh, make the name as paint pot. Then search for horizontal arrangement component. Now we add buttons. Button one, button two. And button 3. Now, we change the phone size to mobile size as we cannot see the picture completely. Now, button 1, we rename it as red button or red then button 2 as green and button 3 as blue okay and then go to test for button 3 or test bots and type it as blue Change the background color to blue. Font size as 3030. Test for button 2 as green. Font size 20. Green. Sorry, font size is 30. Then test for button 1, which is button 1 red. We rename the test as red. Font size 30. Default color red. Now we have our horizontal arrangement 1 ready. In screen 1, align horizontal is to be set to center 3 and align vertical is to be set to center 2. Button 
but before you do arrange verticals to center two, you should get a canvas. It it will be in media. A drawing and animation and set the size as no height as fill parent width as fill parent Now we add in the button which is renamed as white. In test for button or test box, we should rename it as white. And set the background color to your favorite color. I set it to magenta and the font size will be renamed as 3030. Now let's go to the blocks interface. In blocks interface, we are going to code all this. When wipe dot click do call canvas one dot clear. When red dot click do set canvas one dot paint color to z uh, red. So let's first finish these two codes. For the first code, we go to wipe drag and drop first code, which is when wipe dot click do and go to canvas one. Call canvas one clear. The first purple code. And then go to red. When red dot click do. Duplicate it uh, under two times. So that you have three. When red dot click do. The second one rename it as green. The third one as blue. Then go to colors. Bring red, duplicate it under two times and go to canvas, set canvas set canvas one uh, paint color to red and then duplicate it which is which comes like set canvas one plus paint color to red click on the red icon and set it to blue and then Duplicate it to green. And now here we go. Our first four codes are finished. Now for the last code. Which is when canvas one dot touched. H Y touch any sprite do call canvas one draw circle center x center y radius five fill true.
for this course we go to canvas drag and drop when canvas one dot touch x y touch any sprite do which is last last brown code and then go to canvas one drag and drop call canvas dot draw circle center at center y radius fill true center at center y b make it as b attach quotes like get x and get y and for the radius we go to math drag and drop the force code which is 0 and rename it as 5 and in the designer interface we should go to canvas 1 background image we should uh, download it so go to a new tab type images of cute cats or only cats so now we have some cats or here these cats pictures you can download and set it into the canvas one so i'm going to take this picture save image as cat dot jpg enter then go to code to play drag and drop okay just a minute upload file choose file captures and cat jpg and okay here we go we have our jpg or here so here we have finished our coding also Now let's bring it into our phone. So we should build it like click on build drop down arrow and uh, click on the first sentence which says app brackets provide QR code for dot apk. We have a progress bar. We should wait until it loads and gives us the QR code. Now, here we have the QR code. Now we should scan it after we scan it we have some uh, download option in your phone and click on the download and now you get the app in your phone thank you